welcome back to today's video, August favourites, as you can tell from the title. I have only a handful, they're all makeup-y stuff, so I'm gonna get started. First up, let's talk base. I have the Gosh Foundation Drops, and this is in 02 Ivory. I have done a wee review on this, I love it. So it has a little dropper, it's quite a fluidy foundation, so it only gives, you know, light coverage, maybe up to medium, add a push, but I would say it's more light coverage foundation, but it's just so nice on the skin. It's so nice to wear and it's kind of mattifying and it just looks really nice on the skin. It looks quite natural. I don't actually, it's not the best foundation in the world, but for some reason I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's so easy to apply and so nice on the skin and it just is a very nice little foundation. Would definitely recommend checking it out. Leave the video below. You can check it out for yourself if you want to see it in action in the review video. So that's the first item of the day. We'll go on to blush. I have two blushes for you. The first is from Essence and it's a matte touch blush in Berry Me Up. Now this isn't a particularly berry sort of shade. It's more of a, it's a pinky kind of tone. But it's lovely on, it's a really natural flush and I've been wearing it quite a bit. I've been a bit rubbish on the Instagram front and posting my makeup every day. But this is definitely featured this month. Really enjoy it and it's a really good budget friendly option. So if you have access to Essence, because I'm where you can get it in England and in America and everywhere. But you can't buy it online which is a bit frustrating. But if you see it, I would recommend picking it up. It's a really good option. Put that there. The second blush, it's a Max Factor Cream Puff Blush and it's in gorgeous berries. You can tell there's a theme with the berries. Now this is a more recent purchase. Um, I got it last month I think so really quite like it. I already have one of these. I'm actually wearing, no I'm not I'm wearing a Benefit blush. I have another one of these I've had for a while. Absolutely love it. This is such a beautiful berry tone. It is really autumn in a blush. It's so so nice. There are loads of berry blushes but this is just so nice and it's kind of got a nice sheen to it on the cheeks and it makes your skin look nice and glowy and it's a lovely lovely shade. Really like it. Again it's really quite affordable so I recommend checking it out. I haven't done a review on this so meh but check it out. Now for highlight. I have been all about the highlight. This whole strobing thing, it's just highlighting people, but you know, it makes me laugh. Anyway, the highlight I have been loving. Now, I go through phases with wearing highlighter and whatever. This I have been wearing pretty much every single time I've applied my makeup. I have been testing out a few other highlighters, but on the days I can't be faffed, I will grab this one. I absolutely love it. It's the Bourjois Java Rest Powder. It's so nice, and it is, whoop! I used it recently, just of line. I used it recently in a tutorial and I use it to put all over my face just to add a nice glow and it's so nice. You don't, you don't look like a disco ball or anything. It's got a little sifter at the top so that you turn around to let the powder out. I love the packaging, just so nice. I tap a bit into my lid and then use my brush on that and then you know sweep it all over the face if I want or I apply it just to the cheeks or down the centre of my nose, Cupid's bow here, all the places that you would normally use highlight. Really like it. It wears nicely throughout the day. I don't know about using it as a setting powder as such, but it's just so nice all over the face for a bit of a glow. Maybe that's just me? I don't know. Really like it though. I've had it for ages and I just always come back to it. We shall talk eyeshadow to the next one. I've been loving this palette. It's from Catrice and it's the Eyes Wide Matte Palette. And normally got powder on it. Normally I would reach for my Urban Decay Basics palette but I've been reaching for this a lot. A lot, a lot. They're pretty pigmented. They wear nicely. They um, they just provide really nice blending colours and the darker colours I have used, like this one in particular, I wear it a lot all over the lid by itself. This nice sort of dark charcoal grey all over the lid all by itself. My only shame is that there's no black in it. I could have done without this pinky peachy toned and just had the white maybe or vice versa and had a black in there as well but all in all I really quite like it the um, two shades in the middle which may look kind of similar but they're not this one's definitely much lighter and this one's definitely a bit darker it's much more of a darker taupe it's really nice I like them all and it's got a 
warm chocolatey brown. I always look for a nice warm chocolatey brown. This is maybe a bit too dark to use in the crease, but it's a nice one to use to line your lid, to do the outer V if you're just going for a basic day or a full on lip and you just want something neutral on the lids. You can make an eye look out of this. There are a few different eye looks out of this. If you want to see them, let me know. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, but yeah, really enjoying this palette. It's so, so nice. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's a bargain. It's Catrice. Catrice is coming to the US. I've mentioned this before. It's already in Europe, not in England. It's sort of done Europe, bypassed England, go into the US. What is that about? But yeah, really, really like it. If you can see it and get your hands on it, I would recommend checking it out. For lips, I have two. I have been loving. First one I'm wearing is the L'Oreal Mega Gloss in Protest Queen. It's a fantastic mood. I'm just wearing it today because I've gone a bit full on with the eyes and I couldn't find a lipstick or a lip colour that matched and I was like, oh, I'll take this out again. But I was like, yeah, perfect, that'll do. It's this lovely, soft, creamy shade that just meets your lips ever so slightly as a sort of milky, creamy kind of tone, but it's not over the top. It's only a wee touch, you know that kind of way? Really like it, so nice on the lips, so soft, just really like the mega glosses in general i've done a review on them all by themselves but this is lovely i really recommend it especially we're coming into autumn you want to do full-on eyes you just want muted lips this is the one you want really like it now the second one is this bar i am matte me up i have two bar i am matte me ups i'm going to do a review on them very soon but this i have been absolutely loving it's this fantastic red in number five i've either worn this full-on gone full tint and matted it down and then done a second layer. Fabulous red. It's more pinky red, you know, it's not, it looks like a true red on the thing, but it's actually on the lips, it shears out ever so slightly. So it's got that sort of pinky undertone from your lips. <laughs> but yeah, you can layer it up and get a full on red. This stays in place. It definitely stains your lips and it'll wear off as you eat and that kind of jazz but it's just so easy to apply. I can get a really good red lip in a few minutes and I know it's gonna stay there and I can wear it to work and not worry that it's gonna go all over my face. Winning, really, I am loving this, absolutely loving it. I have so many reds, I'm gonna do a video I think on all of the reds, but this one I have been reaching for at least once or twice a week. I love it, it is so good. It's the red I reach for if I'm looking for a red in a hurry. I love it. And it's an absolute bargain. This week has been all about the bargains, or this month I should say. Lastly, I have a nail polish. I love this nail polish. This is from True Brit and it's in Country Tweed. Now at the minute I'm wearing fake nails because my nails are falling apart. That's my own fault. Long story. Meh. But the few times I've been wearing polish this month, I wore this. If you follow me uh, on Instagram, I wore this and I wore a mustardy coloured, which also was fabulous. But this one I absolutely love. I think I finally found a nude I really enjoy. It's the True Brit, as I said, and this little thing pops off, so you don't have to deal with a big chunky handle. This pops out and it's got a really nice brush on it. It's just a nice, it's flat and lovely and it's not too big, but you can still just get a nice cover in a few strokes, it's quite good. would recommend two coats with this. But if you did a full on one coat, you could get away with it. It's such a nice pinky nude. It's really nice. It's, it doesn't look like mannequin hands or anything. I love it. And it's so easy to apply. I'm quite glad I've discovered this brand. They've got some really nice nail polishes. I would be definitely checking out. I'm in the process of trying to declutter at the minute. So I may be getting rid of some really old nail polishes that are just really painfully old. And shouldn't be worn anymore. But if I decide to buy some more, we'll be checking them out. That is it for this month. Those have been my favourites that I have loved very, very much. This month I have had some serious favourites. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. Thanks a million for watching. And for those of you that don't know, changes are coming and the name of the channel will be changing quite possibly to Honestly Anya. Um, I sort of did a video and I'm not sure which is going up first, but it's about feeling boxed in and that's just a general thing. But then I also mentioned some changes because I've been feeling boxed in. So check that video out. Or if you have any suggestions for a name, let me know. The changes are happening soon because this has been on my mind for a wee while. So I'm making the changes soon. So get involved if you want to help direct the channel. Why not get involved? 
and if you have any questions on any of that let me know so thanks a million for watching i will see you in my next video okay bye